Hello, it's me, Mr. Weather, and welcome to my home learning lab. If you've been to the beach, you've definitely got a mouthful of salty water. The salt in seawater comes from rocks on land. When rain falls, it dissolves carbon dioxide from the air, making it become slightly acidic. The rain then erodes rocks, and this process leads to ions to form that move down streams into rivers that lead to the ocean. Sodium and chloride ions that come from the rocks that are not used by organisms in the ocean remain in excess and their concentrations increase over time. The combination of sodium and chloride is salt. The concentration of salt in seawater, or the salinity of the ocean, is on average 35 parts per thousand. If we removed all the salt from the ocean and spread it evenly across the Earth's land surfaces, then we would have a layer that's 500 feet thick. That's as tall as a 40-story office building. The way weather has high or low pressure, seawater has areas of high and low salinity. Of all the oceans, the Atlantic Ocean is the saltiest. Salinity near the equator and the poles are lower due to different reasons. The equator succumbed to heavy rainfall. The freshwater falling decreases the surface salinity of the ocean water in that region. At the poles, fresh water from melting ice decreases surface salinity. Between the poles and the equator, surface heating from the sun causes evaporation, which makes that ocean water more salty. With that information, let's try this simple experiment that you can do at home. We're going to compare fresh water to salt water. Have you ever wondered why you can lay on your back in the ocean and float more easily than in the swimming pool at home? What we'll need for this experiment is two glasses, salt, two eggs, and some water. Take the first glass and pour fresh water into it. Don't pour too high because the water will displace when you put the eggs into the cups. In the second glass, pour your salt water solution. I pre-made my salt water solution, but every 10 ounces of water, you should do a half cup of salt. Now with the eggs, let's place them into each cup to see what happens. In the glass with the fresh water, the egg sinks. In the glass with the salt water, the egg floats. Why is that? Salt water or seawater is more dense than fresh water. Being denser than fresh water allows things that would normally sink to stay afloat. That is why you can float easier in the ocean than you can in a fresh body of water. Today we learned about the salinity and the density of seawater and where salt in the oceans come from. Take some time to try this experiment at home and join me next time in my home learning lab.